Hello guys. So, I haven't done a vlog in like 18 years. So I thought maybe I would jump on here and kind of catch everybody up on, on what's been happening. Um, pretty much, I, I, I know I've said this like a thousand times, but this time I think I'm really going to try and stick to it. Um, I'm going to try and start doing my vlogs again uh, a lot more regularly and, and everything. Um, so this is what's been happening in the life of Drew. All right. Uh, I had mentioned in my last video vlog 18 years ago that I was going to be having surgery on my foot or on my left ankle and what has happened has just been unbelievably insane. Um, I went in, I, I was supposed to have it at the end of April and I went in and uh, like three days before I was supposed to have the surgery, I came down with like a massive sinus infection, um, like cold chills, the fever, um, the whole nine yards. I got really sick. Um, and then um, I went in for my surgery was on a Tuesday and I went in for pre-testing with the anesthesiologist uh, on Monday, the day before surgery. And I felt like crap. Uh, I went in there just to get pre-tested everything and they took my temperature, it was like 101 and uh, and they're like, you know, how long have you been sick? And I'm like, you know, for probably a good week or so and uh, they were like, well, obviously we can't do the surgery with you being sick. I'm like, okay. So I called the, doc the doctor the next day, had it rescheduled for um, towards the beginning, or it was like the middle to the end of May, and uh, so that date came up, everything like that, it's like cool, finally went in, and I had like a few scabs around my ankle, and because uh, I had been itching my ankle, uh, like over the night when I'm asleep, I itch my ankle and uh, because of mosquito bites or, or whatever. Uh, so I went in and they took me back, they prepped me, put the IV in, just the whole nine yards. I was sitting there. Um, I had to be at the, at the hospital at 4.30 in the morning and uh, to, to get prepped and I was sitting in, in the, um, the room getting ready to get wheeled back into the OR and the doctor came in and my doctor is like freaking awesome I love this dude um, he's like such an just an awesome awesome doctor uh, so he comes in and uh, and then the anesthesiologist comes in with the medicine that they give you right before you go back to surgery to kind of make you loopy and tired and uh, so he came in with the syringe and he hooked it up to the IV and everything and was getting ready to give it to me. And uh, my doctor, you know, started looking at my ankle and he saw the scabs on there. And he's like, you know, I don't, or he asked what it was. And I said, well, I think it's like mosquito bites uh, and I've been itching them. And he goes, well, no, I can tell you what those are. Those are chigger bites. And, uh, and it was from me mowing the lawn and I got chigger bites all over my ankles or my ankles and uh, so he said and coincidentally the the bites were right where he needed to cut into so he said you know if they were like three inches higher or three inches lower then we would be totally cool he would do it but he didn't feel comfortable doing it with the scabs being there because he said that they wouldn't be able to um, they wouldn't be able to sterilize the skin well enough because scabs leave craters in the skin and he said that you know it'd be really easy for um, for an infection to start um, and so he didn't feel comfortable doing the surgery until those scabs healed so uh, they took the IV out and I went home. 
Uh, it, it was just, it was absolutely ridiculous. So, called again the next day, and uh, third time was, I guess, the charm or whatever. And uh, called the next day and scheduled it for uh, June 16th. And, you know, I was telling, telling the nurse, I'm like, you know, I just might not come in with a foot. I mean, the way that this has been going and as many times as, as the surgery has been canceled and rescheduled, I just, I, I might, I might just come in and, and not have a foot at all. Uh, so June 16th rolled around, went in there, just like my heart was pounding because I was just like, I was so mentally exhausted from just preparing for the surgery, you know, the first time. And then I kind of relaxed, and, and then the second time. And then I kind of relaxed. And so just my mind was just all over the place, just trying to get ready for the surgery for the third time. Uh, so June 16th, I went in, and uh, they hooked me up and everything again. And the uh, doctor came in, looked at my ankle, said it looked great, and uh, took me back. And um, I had a surgery. Surgery was nine hours long. And they, I'm going to show you in just a second, but I want to kind of mentally prepare you for what I'm going to show you because that's pretty intense. Um, they ended up putting 18 bolts and screws into my ankle. They cut my um, my tibia completely in half and repositioned it. I'm getting bit by something. Um, and completely repositioned it. They put 18 bolts and screws into my ankle uh, to fuse it. Um, they put 10 rods into my leg to hold the bone in place. They cut the uh, the tendon in the back of my foot and lengthen that. Um, it's it's pretty pretty crazy. Uh, so I'll show you. So this is the contraption that they put on me. It's very slimming and uh, very nice looking. Um, so if you see, this is definitely not like for the faint of heart, but the rods. Let's get like a close-up view. The rods, they are going into my leg. I have 10 of those rods that are going in. These, I have three of the big ones that you see right here. And then I have eight of these smaller ones that like these two are going straight through my foot right there. I have these three that are going through to right there. And I have those two that are going through my heel, two right there. And they cut right there, there, cut right here, and the I turn my foot around, try to, and he cut right along here. And uh, it's just like, Matt, like, look at this. If you're grossed out, don't look at this part. But this is like insane. Like, if you look, I'm gonna gross you out for a second, but if you look, you can like see <laughs> down inside of my leg. Like, how crazy is that? Let's look at this one. Okay, here we go. All right, now, this is the part that, that totally blew my mind. All right, let me go back to this. These things right here, oh my gosh, okay, <laughs> these things I had to turn and you turn like this thing right here and these two bars right here, they move this part right here, This, these two, they were like right here and they moved out and then the back ones right here they moved closer together and so I had there's six of these and I had to turn them um, for 10 days I think it was and as I turn them 
it moves my bone closer together and moves my foot out and it just moves everything around and it hurt so bad doing that. Now, I want to show you something. If you look right here, my camera adjusts. If you look right there, the bar started right here. This bar right here started here. And as it moved, as I was turning everything, it started ripping my skin as it went up and it stopped right here. But that just kind of blew my mind, like how much it moved from here to here and just kind of ripped everything as it went. Um, so I had to turn all of these and it moved my bone all around and uh, I have uh, quite a few stories to tell about this contraption but I'm not going to tell them all tonight because it would take forever so um, I'm going to kind of space it out and tell them throughout my next few video blogs um, but I went in uh, two of those those uh, struts that I had to turn, they had to be replaced um, a couple, or probably about a week ago, week and a half ago, and I'd go into the doctor and have them replaced. Now, I want you to kind of imagine this because this was pro like I honestly I have a very very high pain tolerance just by the things that I've had to grow up with and have had to deal with in my life my pain tolerancy is like through the roof um, he had to take two of those struts the struts off when he took those off it released a tension in my bone and so my bone started opening back up and then when he put the two new struts on he had to tighten them back up which moved my bone back together that pain like I don't I don't I, you can't imagine that pain to actually feel your bone going up and down and uh, when he started doing it I just I broke out into this massively cold sweat and I started getting dizzy and I felt like I was gonna be sick I started going into shock when he started doing this and uh, and he tightened them and it got to the point where like I started blacking out and I told him I finally told him I was like please just loosen that one because he did this one and it was just like I felt everything inside just so tight and it hurt so bad and I finally I was like please just loosen that one you just tightened please loosen that back up and so he loosened that back up and just my god that pain was just incredible um, so, uh, just that, those 10 days that I had to tighten those, I had, my sister had to come over and, you know, bless her heart, uh, you know, she came over all those days and, and helped me with, with those, uh, because I couldn't reach the two in the back to, to tighten those and, um, and, you know, some of the days they had to be tightened two to three, uh, millimeters and you know millimeters doesn't sound like a lot but when you're moving up your bone by millimeters that's pretty pretty intense uh, so um, you know I told everybody I was like you know ask me again if I would get the surgery because I want it ever again because the pain just it, it's been such a hassle and it just you know, my the surgery that I had last year on my other ankle was just a piece of cake. It, no pain whatsoever. Um, but this one, I mean, even now, I mean, it still hurts. And even though I got some pretty good main, uh, pain pills and everything, uh, it's not really doing a whole hell of a lot. But um, I just got to keep, I just keep saying to myself, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be cool at the end. I won't have to worry about getting bleeds in that angle anymore. Oh, speaking of, um, I don't know if you guys have TLC, the channel TLC, but I wanted to let everybody know that this Tuesday, 
there is a show on called Birthday. Not all one word, two separate words, Birthday. And uh, there is an episode that is coming on on uh, TLC. And it's about a, uh, a woman who has hemophilia and she gives birth to a healthy baby boy. So I don't know if you're interested in that, um, but I saw it on, uh, or I saw, you know, that it was coming on on Tuesday. And uh, I just kind of want to let you guys know in case you're interested in watching it. So, um, so yeah. Uh, on my next video vlog, I want to do a couple reviews. Uh, there's three of them that I want to do. Um, two are movies and one is a game. Uh, the two movies that I'm going to do the review on is the movie Push and uh, the movie Knowing. And the game that I'm going to do is uh, Ghostbusters. So check that out on my next video blog. And uh, I'll tell you a couple more short stories about my little adventures in the cast or the adventures of the cage. Um, so, and uh, as far as that, I get to have this awesome cage on for another four to five months. And then when I get to get out of this cage, I get to be put into a cast for another four to five months. Totally stoked about that. <laughs> I'm so done. I'm just done with it all. I I am. Um, uh, I think I'm just gonna kind of invent something to just kind of switch bodies with somebody that's healthy. Doesn't have to go through any problems. But a lot of people have bigger problems than I do, so I gotta be thankful for what I got. Um. Alright guys, uh, we're sitting on almost 20 minutes. Damn, this time like, just flies by, it's crazy. Everybody have a great night, and I will uh, definitely post either tomorrow or the next day um, with my next vlog. Because honestly, I can't really do anything else, because I can't walk and I have to keep my foot up. And um, all that good stuff. Oh, I started uh, getting infections around a couple of those poles, so I'm on a nice antibiotic. I I'm telling you what, seriously, uh, I'm going to be telling you some stuff about the surgery because it's pain in my left ass cheek, just all up in there. <sighs> so, alright, everybody have a great night, and I will talk to you either tomorrow or the next day, and um, yeah, so uh, God bless everybody. And be good, be safe, and have a great night. Alright, bye.